hey y'all, football season's here and we gotta do some tailgate food. So we're gonna do some pepperoni pizza sausage balls today. They're really good, let's get to it. Okay, so what we've got, we got some pepper jack cheese, we've got mozza mozzarella cheese, pepper jack cheese, eight ounces of cream cheese, so we're gonna use eight ounces each of the cheese. I got two cups of Bisquick uh, bacon mix. I've got one pound of mild ground sausage and I got about six ounces of chopped up pepperoni. So let's get all this in the bowl and we'll start mixing it up and making balls out of it. Get this paper off the back of the sausage. It makes it a whole lot easier. I made some of these the other day and man did they come out good. What we're gonna do is cut them, <clears throat> put them on a cast iron skillet and we'll do these on the green egg at about 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna flip them over doing about another 10 and they're gonna be nice golden brown and we got some marinara sauce we're gonna dip them in and it's gonna be good. Okay, so while I'm finishing getting my pound of sausage in here, we're just about done. Just breaking it up because it'll make it easier for me to mix. All right, now I'm gonna dump in my six ounces of pepperoni. And we're gonna add eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. This is a 12 ounce bag, so I'll save a little bit of that for later. We're gonna do the same thing with pepper jack. We're gonna add about eight ounces of pepper jack cheese. Save for that for a different project. I'm gonna add in my bisquick. And my eight ounces of cream cheese. And we're gonna top it off with some Montreal steak sauce. I just like the way that, that rub tastes. All right, now let's mix it up. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just mix everything up real good. The last time I made these, I put the bisquick in first. And I like to never have got everything all mixed up. So this time I tried putting it in a little bit later in the process, which of course got more bisquick on the counter. Now we're just going to mix everything up. Now to get a good mix, it takes a few minutes. So while I'm finishing mixing it up, y'all can be well, we're gonna use the magic of editing and I'll be right back. All right, so I got everything mixed up thoroughly. Uh, for the record, it doesn't matter where, when you put the Bisquick in, uh, whether you put it on the top or the bottom or whatever, it, the result is gonna be the same. It's gonna work its way all the way to the bottom. So what I'm doing, let's see, make sure y'all can see this. I got my scoop. I'm scooping up my mix. Made into a little 
little ball and then put it on the griddle. Now this makes more than one griddle's worth, but for purposes of this video, I'm just gonna make enough to fill the griddle up. We'll cook it at 350 degrees on the egg and they're good. I like to try recipes a lot of times before I show them to y'all. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You wanna to try to make your, your balls as close to the same size as you can. All right, so I'm gonna finish rolling these and then I'll be right back. Okay, this batch made four, or made 28. I got 14 on my griddle and then we have 14 more. For purposes of this video, I'm only gonna worry with these 14. So let's get the grill heated up to 350 degrees and throw these suckers on there. Okay, we're at 350 degrees on the egg. Now I know initially, or not the egg, but on the Weber, initially I said we were gonna do this on the egg and I've decided that I haven't done a video on the Weber kettle in a while. So we're going indirect do it this way indirect we don't I don't have any heat in this part of the box all the heats back here I just had overflow charcoal um, so we're gonna go 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna check them now I'm putting my temperature indicator over the balls so I can see what the temperature is above them all right let's check our balls I do have a high temperature glove on. All right, they're not quite done yet. It's only been about 10 minutes. Let me check one more. All right. We're gonna leave them on there for another 10 and then we'll check them again. Get my temperature indicator back in the right place. So we'll check them in 10 minutes. All right, we're at the 20 minute mark. Oh yeah, they're cooking now. I can see, let's see if I can do it this way. We're gonna go ahead and turn them. They starting to brown up. Yeah. I wanted to do it on the Weber just to see because after 20 minutes on the egg, they were already good and, and golden brown on the bottom. I can see they cooking because the way that cheese is starting to pull apart. And I don't definitely don't want to burn them. So we're just gonna take them and flip them. So this might take us a little bit longer than what I initially expected, but we'll see. They looking good though. Check back in about 15. All right, it's been 35 minutes total cook time now. Now they starting to show some browning up. Get my gloves back on, we'll flip them and see what we're at. We are, like I said, 35 minutes total cook time right now. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, now we're starting to brown up nice on the bottom. Everything, that cast iron starting to get good and hot. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna rotate it around just a little bit though, so we can take care of both sides because one side is a little bit closer to the fire than the other. <clears throat> so we'll take care of this side a little bit. Oh yeah. We're going to let that roll for another 15 minutes and they should be about good to go then. Let's close it up and get my temperature in the right place. Okay, we're now at 50 minutes total cook time and Look at that. Man, those things look good and they are done. Okay, so it took me 30 minutes on the big green egg when I did them. And this one took 50. Using the same technique, dome temperature, that's what I went by. So that just goes to show that you need to check what you're cooking and temperature and cook times do vary by grill. So, Let's get these off the grill. 
All right, so I got my plate full here. I took and cut one in half and put it on a napkin. Got me a little bit of marinara sauce. Let's see how it is. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Dang on. That tastes like a sausage and pepperoni pizza right there. It's quick and easy tailgating. I mean, I used a Weber kettle grill. It took me 55 minutes. I used a big green egg. Uh, it took me 30. It just, they cook differently. Um, if you used a pellet grill, you know, you want to do indirect. But now on a flat top, you can do it in about 30 minutes. So there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it. But man, these are good. Wow. It's a quick and easy tailgate. You can cook them before you go to the game. You know, you can wrap them in tinfoil, warm them up on the grill, or um, the ones that, that I made the other day, I just ate them cold. I did warm up the marinara sauce just a little bit and put a little bit of mozzarella, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of mozzarella cheese in it. But man, this was a good cook. So I'm going to put links to... Um, all our partners down in the description and uh, follow those the ones that have discount codes feel free to please use the discount codes and save yourself some money anytime you click on any of those links you are uh, helping the channel also if this was a good video for you and you think you might want to see some more and you made it this far into the video I don't normally ask but how about subscribe to the channel um, that way you'll be able to see whatever news coming down the pipe because when we get into fall, I'll be doing some different kind of cooks. Uh, we got more tailgate specials we have to do. And then once we start getting into the, the fall and winter holidays, yeah, then we're going to be doing hams and turkeys and, and all that stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I'm really going to enjoy eating these things. And until next time I see, oh, forgot one thing. I will put the recipe down in the description. That's kind of an important thing. I'll put the time uh, that it took on the on the Weber. If you watch this uh, whole video, then you know, you know what I told you about on the egg. So the, big, the bottom line is, check these things about every 10 minutes. And when they start browning, then you can turn them. Until next time I see y'all at the grill, y'all keep on grilling.